Okay, guys, welcome once again to the Harley Davidson's Live Wire Writers Facebook group page and page group and page. Um, right now, we are going to be installing one additional piece of carbon on the bike. God, the more I look at this bike, I'm probably going to name it whatever Live Wire Carbon Edition. Um, and it'll be really damn cool once you get all of this carbon on there. But okay, let's go back to uh, what we were gonna do. And we are gonna set up a new piece on this bike. And this new piece is over here. So our box of goodies is here. And what do we have here? We have in this case a box that says here, Livewire Rear Brake Master Cylinder Cover. And here it is. This is the part number. This is the unit itself. Uh, pretty damn cool. So let's open it up. What do we have in the box? In the box, we have a master cylinder cover, carbon fiber. So let's go compare. So we have a master cylinder cover here going to the bike. And as you can tell, it's probably going to go right around there somewhere. Like right there. So you see it there. What is funny is that notice that on the box itself and I'll get it closer just close up to it it shows as a silver linkage here and on the real live wires it's a black linkage so must have been some differences on this product uh, product prototype bike that they use the they're using to create the product packaging versus what we have here on hand but nevertheless looks like it's gonna be as simple as a two screw setup but let's look at some manuals and see what it says so what does the documentation say? Documentation says the following. Ah, brake reservoir cover. Yeah, two screws, two screws, some washers, uh, 30 minute install, safety glasses once again. Yeah, gotta make sure we wear our safety glasses. Um, one, two, washer screw, washer screw, the uh, cover, and then some other washers and screws right there. So how do we install this? Uh, remove, set to remove OE original equipment screws from the rear of the bike cylinder. Okay, see figure one, install assembled cover and rear brake cylinder, blah, 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 blah. So they want eight to 10 Newton meters of force on that. So let's see what we have packaging wise. I hear some screws, do I? Oh yes. So not only do I take off the old ones, but then we got to put on some new ones with some washers and some stuff. So based on the packaging and the documentation, let's see. According to this, we got this here. This here. Let's organize it the way that they want you to install it, just to make sure we know where we're at. Okay, so here we are. So we start off with, let's get this unpacked. More carbon fiber accessories. Here she is. So according to this, this part goes like so. And we first have some screws with two washers. Screws with two small washers. Screw, screw. Screw, screw. Washer, washer. Then we have some curved washers coming up. And then at the end, after everything's said and done, it's just like some, these bad boys. So according to this documentation, that's the setup right there. And this is the setup right here. Pretty much the same way, like so, like so, like so, like so. So here we are. So that's what we have there. And that's what we have here on this documentation based on that design. 
Well, hopefully I got those washers right. Looks like I do. The small ones and then the big ones in the back. All right, so let's get at it here. So let's start off with taking off the one that's currently there. So let's go check out what we have over there. Let's see if our trusted Torx. <laughs> one works, which is not gonna work. Oh, it's Allen now. And these things are tighter than hell. <clears throat> okay. All right, there they are. Finally. So they should easily come off now. There we go. And grab that. Just the following way. Based on this. Okay. So goes screw washer. Now the screw here is a Taurus, and it was originally an Allen screw, so now. solid and there we have it okay so that was another piece down another piece to go so see you guys on the front next video take care bye